Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through some of the images that appeared in 6.2 in Arnold. Got the new light mixer imager and bloom in the imager lens effect. That's a couple of uh, denoisers, Arnold denoiser and the optic disk denoiser are now images. Okay, so if you start off with the imager light mixer, I've got our Emily scene here. Three area lights with light group names. So at the bottom of the area lights, giving them different names, blue, purple, and yellow. And then if we open up our on a render view, I've already created an image of light mixer here because you're supposed to create the images before you set off the render. And you can see we've got the light groups already set up automatically by the image light mixer. So now we can enable and disable Right, so we can solo them. So if you want to see just one light, we can do that, or can solo multiple lights at the same time. So let's quickly uh, change some of the lighting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the purple light, and then let's add a, a red tint to the yellow light, and maybe just increase the blue light a little bit. And if we create a snapshot, we can compare the two. So you can see how quickly and easy it is to create different lighting variations with the image light mixer. It's another scene with an image light mixer. We've also got a lens effect with a bloom. So the bloom strength, we can turn that down a bit. We can reduce the radius. And we can change the bloom tint color. So you can see the bloom tint is multiplying the existing colors. Put that back to white. And again, with the light mixer, we've got our light groups. And we can Again, change exposure, can change the tint, color. We've also got a default light group that M2 creates for any lights that aren't in, don't have any light groups. So we can see there's a sky dome lighting the scene which doesn't have a light group. So we disable that, we can't see it. We can solo it so we just see that on its own. In this scene, we've got the light mixer at the top with an Arnold noise underneath it and a lens effect with a bloom on the lights. Below that, the denoiser is in the correct place, so it should be below any post-process images. So we look at the bloom, we can increase the intensity again. So for speed's sake, I'm just going to disable the tunnel denoiser noise. So now we can adjust the bloom quickly. And we go back to our light mixer. We've got different light groups for the different lights, so I can disable each light. I'm just going to disable the bloom for a second. We get to the light mixer. We have a default, so basically the default light groups has lights that don't have light groups in them. So if we disable that, you should notice that the exterior studio lighting does not render. So that's basic introduction to images in Arnold 6.2. Thanks for watching. Bye.